Hi, there's Love Pepper here, and I finally found something that works for me. Keeping clean in a SHTF event. You know, crap hits the fan, basically, or the other word. It's keeping clean with water limited. And I've tried different things. I've tested different things. I've figured out how to do things to keep under control. So the fungus for your feet, the fungus for your nails, the scrapes and stuff, rashes, you can use your own urine to help keep it clean. When I started testing things out, I tried uh, diluted bleach. I tried cleaning products. I found that the uh, vinegar solution works rather well to help keep clean. But oil helps keep you clean. Cooking oil vegetable oil things in that area helps keep you clean you can you can make your own stuff to help you smell better you can use uh if you like olive oil you can turn around and infuse it with rosemary or thyme or you know lavender or whatever you can infuse these in with it and when you rub with the oil on it it and then wipe it off it helps remove a lot of the dirt and it helps keep parasites down as well in a situation where you're limited on water. I tried all kinds of stuff for my hair. I tried this one. I tried that one. And it seemed like none of my hair got really, really, really thin. And it's due to genetics, stress, whatever you want to call it. Nevertheless, it got really thin. My hair is dry texture. It breaks easily. So I need to find, I was trying to find something that I could use, and it took me a long time to find it. So I picked up one of these at an auction, me and my auction. Yay! But I started trying it out, set on my sink, my tub for a while, and I would use it every now and then. And then I started thinking more about trying it out as a test run like I do with all the other shampoos and soaps and all the other stuff. So I went, I have went two weeks without washing my hair. Two weeks. All I did was wrench my hair off and then I poured this in treatment solution into my hair and combed through it. This here is two weeks without washing my hair. I can run my fingers through it little bit of tangles right here but I can still if I want it to a lot of mornings when I get up I just simply simply take my solution put it into my hair and comb through this is two weeks right here without washing my hair now this works for me and yes this is natural curl this is not a perm. This is my natural curl in my hair. And this here helps with the curl in it. So I found this is two weeks, like I said, without washing my hair. All I've done is rinse my hair, run some water through my hair, dampen it down, and put this solution into it and brushed it through my hair. And I also have done this in many a morning get up. And put this through my hair and comb it through. So keeping clean in a limited amount of water and finding what works for you is the thing you have to think about. You hear people talk about SHTF events, WROL events, limited water events, but you don't really hear many people talk about how you're going to keep clean. Well, there's different things. You'll see them say, you know, build you a little fire and put you some cedar brush in there or whatever and then put your clothes you know put something over and have the smoke goes up your body to help get rid of the parasites and things like that and yes it does work but what if you can't build fires what if you're in a situation where really doing something like that attracts too much attention this will have some weight to it but if you uh put this in your backpack to help keep yourself clean it makes a difference on it. If you're bugged down somewhere, limited amount of water, 
got to depend on what you got. This here is, like I say, this is the original one. This works for me. You have to find what works for you. This works for me. Now, as a back to basis prepper, my income is very limited. I'm on disability. I'm in a lot of pain, but I use a lot of natural herbal supplements to help control the pain. I also know that the way the environment is, the way the budget is, I have to find things that's going to work for me and keep me within a balance. Finding something for you to keep clean with, you need to do the research. Check the oils out. Oils will help remove the dirt. It will also help keep uh, unwelcome guests on you like lice. You don't want lice. Blech. You really don't want body lice at all. You don't want to get fleas on you. You don't want to get things on you. And then you've got to figure out how to keep this clean, how to keep this there. Cedar. I've told you, talked to y'all about cedar. If you're out, grab some cedar leaves, rub the cedar. Well, they're not leaves, but you know what I mean. Rub the cedar on you. You can make you up a small batch and make you cedar tea with it, and it's a vitamin C solution. You can pour the vitamin, the tea solution through your hair as well, and that will help prevent some things. You can place some of the cedar in a bag or whatever, and place it on your body to help keep uh, insects repelled or whatever. Or you can infuse the cedar in an oil and create you a solution to help keep you clean as well to help keep insects off of you. So do research on it. Find for you what would be. Think more about SHTL. Think more about the limits of what you're going to have in your thing. Don't think about buying big bottles of shampoo or big bottles of conditioner and think about you're going to have all this water. You're not in a situation where the water is going to get cut off. Think about maybe a grout. Think about whatever is going to happen. Maybe a war will break out. Let's hope not. Maybe a zombie evasion. Let's hope not. But the fact is you need to also think along how you're going to keep clean, how you're going to keep body odor down. Dogs track you down by body odor. Animals track you down by body odor. People will track you down by the smell. So it's something to think about. And the sickness will endanger you by the, the parasites and things that attaches itself to your body. So this is something you need to do. You need to think about how to keep clean in SHTF. Think outside the box right out here. This invisible box, not inside this invisible box, where you've got the shampoo and the conditioners and all this deodorant and all this stuff that's going to last. Think outside of the box that's going to do for you. Believe it or not, I have perfume with alcohol in it. I can spray the perfume under my arms with the alcohol, and I have tested it. Yes, I've tested it too, and it also helps keep the smell under control under my arms if I don't have deodorant. Deodorant, that stick deodorant, the roll-on deodorant and things like that will melt. You would need something to have in case of a situation. So if all you got is, if you got cheap perfume with alcohol in it, or you choose to make use of own perfume with alcohol, Spray it under your arms to help keep the odors under control. I had to learn. Made my mistakes on it. Wasn't easy. So, and I'm still learning. So learn how, what to do in an SHTF event to help keep you clean. Check out some of my videos about pee that helps. About the cedar that helps. Check out some of my Joan C stuff that'll give you some wonderful ideas. This is Live Prepper here. I want you to be safe, be happy. Bless you all.